Hey everyone, known as Geeks here. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, apply thermal paste to your graphics card. The things, that, the tools that you need is going to be your thermal paste. It doesn't matter which one it is, as long as it's, it uh, it makes you happy. And then uh, I have uh, alcohol cleaning wipes. Um, you could use just any rubbing alcohol; it would be fine. Uh, you need uh, with a cloth and uh, alcohol to uh, clean it out and of course you need your tools first thing you need to do is you need to discharge yourself you need to touch anything that's solid metal like a car or a, a light post that's outside for about 10 seconds and the reason I tell you this is because if you touch uh, your, your hardware on your computer say for instance I have uh, static electricity on me right now and if I touch something on my graphics card that static electricity will go to one of these components on the graphics card and damage it which could be a huge failure or completely destroyed okay now um, once you have discharged yourself you want to take your graphics card out and you want to flip it over somewhere that's a solid ground not on a carpet uh, preferably on a wooden table and then you, as you see as you can see these screws right here is the ones you need to remove some of these graphics cards do have it and some don't and then these as well if if you want to uh, have new thermal paste now let's go ahead and uh, remove the screws you can use a magnetic screwdriver it does not matter it will not damage your parts. I've been using a screwdriver, a magnetic screwdriver for many years now and I have not one damaged computer part. Now since everything's all off, you might find some washers on or up below your screws. You want to go ahead and set them aside. See how uh, it came off? You're good to go with that, but let me uh, remove the power fan. That's done. You can see it comes with its own thermal paste, but the thermal paste is not that great. And uh, first thing you want to do is get your alcohol and you want to clean it off. Make sure all of it is off. Make a smooth surface. Don't worry about if there's any excess uh, alcohol on top. It will dry up. <clears throat> and then you want to go to your graphics card. Let me move my heatsink this way. And you can see there's a uh, thermal paste right on top of that. And you want to clean that as well. Make sure you get some off the sides. You don't have to get everything as long as you get the good stuff.
Okay, now once you are done and you see everything just as it is, doesn't matter if you have any extra left over on these uh, little soldering piece because it doesn't matter. Now you want to apply the thermal paste. <clears throat> I am using, uh, I believe, Shin Fitsu Micro C. I don't know if you can see that with Shin Citro Micro C. I got this. I got off uh, this on eBay for uh, two bucks for uh, three syringes. Okay, now you. This is very important. You do not need to put a lot of thermal paste. Just put some right there in the direct over the center, center of the center of the uh, the G, uh, GPU, which is a graphic processing unit. I'm going to go ahead and add a small dab. Which is about that big. And you don't need to uh, smear it with anything. Uh, there are special tools on the internet that you could use to uh, smear it with. And um, I do not need any of the tools, which this is just fine. And next thing you need to do is add, uh, put back your uh, your heat sink and you are done. The heat sink will smash the, will smash the thermal paste and even it out all together. This is No Nags Geeks and thank you for watching.